てるよね。Hello, I'm Teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to watch a class, let me explain how it works. Today, our topic is a complete review of English tenses. If you have a question during the class, you can write your question in the comments and I'll answer it at the end of the lesson. I also have some questions for you to practice what you've learned and you can write your answers in the comments as well. So before we get started with our topic for today, let's review what we learned in last, uh, last week's class in case you missed it. We talked about how to describe people. So we looked at how to describe people according to their appearance, uh, according to their character traits, and we looked at the order of adjectives. So how to use, if you have multiple adjectives in one sentence, which one comes before the other. So if you missed the class and you want to uh, watch it, go to the video section of our Facebook page and there you'll find all of our previous classes so you can watch them again, you can share them on your own Facebook page, or you can, um, you can tag someone you think might want to watch it. Okay, so I see that Priscilla, Miriam, Sylvia, and Jonan are already joining us, so that's great. Thanks for watching. Okay, so what we're going to do today is go through all of the English tenses. I'm going to start with the present, then we'll do the past, and then the future. Okay, so starting with the present tense, let's review how to form the present simple. Okay, we use the present simple to talk about established facts, habitual actions, and routines, so things that you do on a regular basis. For example, um, I study English every Friday afternoon. Okay, so this is something that happens more than once in the present. Okay, so we use the present simple. All right, uh, Lisbeth, Margo, Moises, Ivan, and Martha have also joined us. Okay, thanks for watching. All right, so now let's talk about the present continuous. We use the present continuous to talk about something that is happening as we speak. So it's an ongoing action in the present. We form the present continuous with the verb to be in the present plus ing. So for example, I am reviewing the English tenses right now, okay? And so are you if you're watching this class. Okay, the present perfect is used uh, to talk about something we have done several times in the past and continue to do in the present. Okay, so we form the present perfect with the verb to have in the present. So depending on the subject, it will be either have or has plus the participle. Okay, so this is the special ending of the verb, the participle. All right, so for example, I have read over 25 books this year. Okay, so this is something that started in the past and is still true today because if it's still the same year, then you could continue reading more books, for example. Okay, the present perfect continuous, all right? We use this to talk about actions that started in the past and continue in the present. So we form the present continuous with the verb to have, again, have or has, plus been, plus the verb with ing. So don't forget about this been here. Okay, for example, I have been living in London for five years. So that means five years ago, you started living in London, and if you still live there today, then you use the present perfect continuous. It's still ongoing in the present. Okay, now let's move on to the past. All right, the first past tense we're going to talk about is the past simple, okay? These are completed actions in the past, things that are finished, okay? So if the verb is regular, then we simply add the ending ed. If it is irregular, then we have to memorize the verb form, okay? This is just something that happens in English with irregular verbs. All right, for example, I went to the shop yesterday and bought half a dozen cupcakes. So here we have two verbs in the past. The verb to go is irregular, so the past simple is went, and then the verb to buy is also irregular, the past simple is bought, okay? Now let's look at the past continuous. So these are interrupted actions in the past, so something that is ongoing and then is interrupted by another action. 
So we form the past continuous with the verb to be in the past simple, so was or were, depending on the subject, plus the ing ending. Okay, for example, I was taking a shower when the phone rang. So here, the ongoing action in the past is to take a shower, and then the action that interrupts it is the phone ringing. So uh, the verb to ring in the past simple is rang. Okay, now let's look at the past perfect. This is something that occurred before another action in the past. So we form the past perfect with the verb to have in the past simple, so had, plus the participle, okay? For example, the movie had already started when we arrived, okay? So if arrive is the, um, the verb in the past simple, the action that happened before it is in the past perfect, so had, started and then this already to specify the time goes here in the middle. Okay, and now past perfect continuous. This is something that started in the past and then continued up to a specific time but in the past. Okay, so everything is in the past here but it was ongoing for a time. For example, we'd been dating for a year when we got engaged. So we use had been plus the um, ing ending, okay? So we had been dating, this was ongoing in the past. In this case, it's one year. And then the next action to get engaged is in the past simple. All right, now we just have to finish by reviewing the future tense, all right? So our first future tense is the future simple with will. So there are two different ways to form the future simple. I see that one of our students, Moises, says, I have been learning English for five months. Okay, that's great. Good. I'm happy that you're joining us. Um, okay, so we use the future simple with will to talk about spontaneous decisions, things that you decide spur of the moment. So we use will plus the infinitive. For example, I will call you back later. This is, if someone calls you and you're busy, then you decide right then to call them back. Okay, I will call you back later. The other future simple form is going to. So we use going to with our plans and intentions, things that we know are going to happen in the future. So we use going to plus the infinitive. For example, I'm going to wash all the dishes before I go to bed. This could be part of your routine, something you know that you're going to do. Okay, future continuous. We use the future continuous to talk about an ongoing action in the future, something that we know we will be doing at a specific time. Okay, so we use will be plus the verb with ing. For example, this time next week, I'll be or I will be on vacation, okay? So the vacation is obviously an ongoing action. It could be a few days, a week, but it's something that's happening in the future and you specify the time by saying this time next week. Okay, the future perfect. These are actions completed by a specific time in the future. Uh, we use or we form the future perfect with will have plus the participle, okay? Uh, for example, by December, I will have written my thesis. So you put the time, in this case, it's December, okay? So this is a, a specific point in the future, and you're saying that you will complete the, uh, the writing. So I will have written means that it will be finished. Okay, and our last tense today is the future perfect continuous. Okay, this is a longer action in the future interrupted by a shorter action. Okay, so we form the future perfect continuous with will have been plus the verb with ing. For example, I will have been studying English for one week this summer. Okay, so this is specifying the time. All right, good. So now I'm going to ask you three questions and you can write your answers in the comments. They're very easy. I just want you to practice by writing examples. So the first one, choose a tense in the present and write a sentence, okay? So see if you can do that, any present tense. 
My second question, write a sentence in the past. So it could be past simple, past perfect, and write a sentence in the future, okay? If you want to write more than one example, then that's great. As you're writing your answers, let me tell you more about our course here at ABBA because you can also review your tenses using our course. So we have a complete course from beginners to business level featuring 144 units. Each unit has a short film, a video class, and exercises to help you uh, practice your English. So if you study using our course, you can use your smartphone, your tablet, or your PC or Mac, and your progress is saved on all of these devices. So it's a very flexible way to study anywhere and anytime. In addition to our course, we have many other resources available, available to you for free, like our blog, The ABBA Journal. Here you can find articles about grammar, culture, English for business, travel, um, more articles about uh, reviewing tenses. So if you feel like you want to practice a little bit more, then check out our blog. On our Facebook page, we have our live streaming classes twice a week now, so you can participate in those. You can find the calendar posted on our Facebook page, so you can see the date, the time, and the topic of each week's class, so you won't miss it. And we also have a Twitter page and a YouTube channel, so check out all of those resources. And now let's see who is joining us today. Okay, Moises says, I really like ABBA. Thanks, Teacher Robin. Okay, Moises, thanks for joining us uh, every week for five, five months, I think you said. That's great. Uh, we're happy to have you. Um, while everyone else is writing their comments, let me tell you about next, uh, next class. We're going to talk about possessives. So when we use the possessive form, how to form it. Um, there are many different kinds of possessives, so it's a really useful class and um, I hope that you can join us. You can also turn on your notifications to, uh, to receive a message anytime we're live streaming, okay? And again, you can check your calendar, check our calendar on the Facebook page. I see someone said, uh, used an example in the present, my husband is in the garden, okay? Good example, great, all right. If there are no more, then we'll finish for today, but please feel free to keep writing in the comments and we'll get back to you later today. I hope this class has been useful for you to, uh, to review your tenses and um, brush up, maybe learn something new. Remember, you can always practice with us um, in our course. So thanks again for joining today and we'll see you next time when we talk about possessives. Take care, bye.